I would like to start off with thanking everyone who came out today to support the class of 2023 and all our future endeavors. As we begin today's an announcement, I would like to recognize a very special group of patriots. Graduates, if you are committed to serve in the U.S. military upon graduation, please stand. Everyone, please stand with our patriots as our senior chorus ensemble honors our nation by singing the national anthem. Where do I even begin? Well, I'm sure many of you really can't wait to hear another speech, so I'll make sure I make this as short and sweet as possible. Today we sit here for our graduation, a day we've been looking forward to for the past four years. But it's now finally year, a day where we can celebrate with our friends and families, a day we are finally recognized for our hard work that each of us have continuously put in for the last 13 years. Today we walk out of graduation with a diploma that opens many doors of opportunity for anyone willing to walk through one. I'll never forget our freshman orientation in the auditorium with squeaky chairs when the microphones seemed to work without any hassle. Mr. Aldridge was giving his spiel about how fast these four years will go by and he didn't lie. I remember admin saying to soak up every ounce of fun along the way all of us sitting in those chairs thinking, why does this, any of this matter? Senior year is so far away. We all seemed to mostly enjoy our first chaotic year in high school until boom. COVID brought the world we knew to a sudden halt. And what all of us were so excited for, a two week break, turned to a six month break. Most of us spent our sophomore year at home in front of our computers, but it wasn't all that bad. Although it wasn't the most fun, I remember the amount of chaos we would cause for our teachers, the jokes. Even though it was online at home, we pushed through it and made the best out of it. Junior year quickly came around the corner and we were now upperclassmen, the ones we wanted to be when we were freshmen. We went through the year like normal, taking ACTs, SATs, figuring out what colleges we wanted to go to, even having the time of our lives at prom. We watched the class of 2022 come and go 
realizing that we were next, realizing that our time was slowly running out here at the fort. So here we are now, senior year. These past two years have been some of the best yet, and I think a lot of you can agree. Coming back from COVID, a lot of us notice that there is no time like the present. We just wanted to have fun, and I'll miss that spirit as I leave the fort today. As I begin to wrap up, I want to make one thing clear. <laughs> Graduation is not an end goal in itself. It is instead a part of the larger journey in life. <laughs> Wherever your future takes you, let it take you somewhere bright. Life is a journey and all of our accomplishments we achieve during its course should be taken, taken as a starting point for further achievements. This is just the launching point. I have a few thank yous before I finally close. I want to give the biggest thank you to Mrs. Estes and Mr. Barton for being the best advisors I could have ever asked for. I couldn't have done this year without you. Another huge thank you for all the teachers and admin that have helped me throughout the years, the four years to getting me to this point. Thank you to all my family and friends that are here today. You guys have believed in me so much more than anyone else. And a final thank you to the class of 2023 for making the last four years, four years I will never forget. <laughs> Good afternoon. When I was asked to introduce this person, I immediately said yes. When I first met her, we were in virtual, and they were taking virtual accounting, which was 100% digital. And I had the answer key, and I'm working through the problems, and I'm scoring about 90%. <laughs> This person was making perfect scores, and since the rest of us weren't doing so well, I allowed everyone else to make up work. So if you didn't have 100, you could do it over again. And she went and did them all over again if she didn't have a perfect score. Then the second time I met her, we were in early college, and I was a tutor, and she just happened to be taking probability and statistics under my wife, Mrs. Taylor, that teaches at Trident Technical College. And she was a very good student, according to my wife. <laughs> and what I noticed was they would have study groups and she would help the other students do well also. So she was very unselfish. Later, she was my split volunteer as a student volunteer. And I've always known her to be kind, humble, and helpful toward others. And of course, super smart. So I present to you our 2020 salutatorian, Kalani Williams. My God. <laughs> Oh God, okay. First and foremost, congratulations, Fort Class of 2023. It, it is truly an honor to stand before you today as the salutatorian of our class. My name is Kilani Ariana Janae Williams, a name that I hope some of you recognize and that all of you will remember. When I was first told I had to do this speech, I genuinely did not know what to say. It's impossible to relate to everyone's high school experience. With everything that our class has gone through, it simply could not be put into words. So I asked many people for other ideas and was told to just write about how I got here and what kept me motivated. However, I don't really know much about that. A lot of high school is a blur for me since time flew by so quickly. Then I was told to be inspirational, but there were no thoughts there either. 
So instead, I'm just going to be honest. In many ways, I just got lucky. Even though I'm not supposed to admit that, it's the truth. I already had high school credits before I even entered this place and have always been a straight A student. I never considered myself to be in a position to give advice since I don't really follow my own. However, today is different. Today, I want to share with you all exactly how I've managed to keep going towards the very end of high school. After freshman year, when everything went downhill with COVID, I honestly wanted to be done with school. The packets of work we received were, oh, went too fast, were enough to make me think failing was okay. Even worse, when summer hit, I started my early college classes, except I didn't because I was constantly in and out of the hospital. At that point, the universe was just handing out signs that passing was not for me. My sophomore year was entirely virtual and nothing could compare to how awkward of a school year that was. I was stressed over assignments that I could have done at literally any point in the day. I noticed that even with my summer classes, when I had nothing to do but class, it could be incredibly stressful. Flash forward to my junior year, I didn't even know how to be a real student anymore. I felt uncomfortable doing all the things I did when I was a freshman and no longer wanted to participate in anything. Thank goodness for my best friends, Aaliyah, Alexia, and Robert, for pushing me through that year. Despite that, this was also the same year that I realized how well I was doing. I recognized that despite how uncomfortable and awkward those years were, I made it through them and made it to my senior year. And I believe one day I just stopped stressing. I can't recall exactly when that day was, but I know it changed my mindset completely. I stopped thinking I was going to fail, and I just affirmed that I would stay in the top. And there was no doubt in my mind that if I at least put in effort, I'd do just fine. And now look at me, salutatorian with a college degree from Trident. Yeah. <laughs> but I definitely did not feel that way when high school started. My fear of failure was so debilitating that I would stay up and cry over any grade that wasn't higher than a B. And I definitely was one of those kids, but my point here is you don't always have to be that kid. You can grow and change your mindset just like I did. And I'm not saying that you should just stop caring, but don't allow it to consume you and make you overwhelmed. A bad grade shouldn't define you and definitely shouldn't determine if you'll be successful or not. Through all of my rambling, what I'm trying to say is even if the journey was tough, you made it. There's no longer anything anyone can say about any of you because at least you have your diploma. I hope all of you here today go out there in the world and become someone you want to be. I don't want any of you to have regrets or look back on high school as a negative experience. Always focus on the good memories and remember to stay motivated because you want to and not because you feel like you have to. I don't want to say the rest. High school truly is just the beginning, even if that's cliche. Choose to do what will make you happiest, since this is the point in our lives where we can finally live for ourselves. The amount of opportunities that just opened up for all of us are endless, and I hope all of you make the most of it. From this point on, we shall only look forward, no more looking back. As long as you continue to believe in yourselves, you'll always make it through. And lastly, I'm going to insert something that my mom always tells me that I think all of you need to hear. So my mom says, I don't care if you're number one, two, or 200, I'll always be proud of you. And no matter what position you find yourselves in at any point in time, someone out there will always be proud of you guys. Thank you all again and congratulations everyone. Parents, teachers, administrators, members of the school board, our supportive underclassmen friends, and most importantly, the class of 2023. <laughs> this is probably the fifth speech you've listened to. If you are still listening, and I know that this is one of the only things stopping you from walking and not pretending to trip across the stage. So I'll try to make this quick. 
I want to start by pointing out that we spent the day thanking our parents and teachers and staff at Fort. And although we owe our biggest supporters everything we have, the most important thank you is the one you owe to yourself. Because regular classes, they graduate. But we, class of 2023, we graduate this year up. The fact is that no one has been through it like we have. You survived a global pandemic, a tuberculosis scare, the stomach bug that usually goes around school in January, inhaling a mouthful of baby powder at football games while you're trying to scream your lungs out to Mo Bamba, and the mysterious mango and strawberry scented clouds in the bathroom, and the most severe and contagious one of them all, you survived senioritis. The best four years, am I right? Speaking of science-related things and virtual learning, I'm willing to bet that one of the only facts we all remember is that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell because that's just something adults use in the real world all the time. I'm also willing to bet that most of us cannot explain why the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Sorry, science teachers. It's simply become this given fact that we're so exposed to. It's just ingrained in our heads. And this wouldn't be a graduation speech if I didn't make an abstract metaphor about life. So I have to say it. Be the mitochondria. As we all begin our independent journeys, and not as students from Fort Dorchester, show up every day as yourself. Take time to know yourself. Know who you are, it's more importantly who you want to be and show up as that person. Show up as yourself so unapologetically that no one questions who you are. Because as we've seen, no one questions the mitochondria. You are the powerhouse of your own world. So show up as that, no questions asked. Know who you are and know what you bring to the table because you all bring so much. Just take a look around. Many of us have caught the attention of college coaches. And fun fact, only about 7% of high school athletes play their sport in college. Some of you have worked 35 hours a week on top of school. Some of you are getting paid to go to college. And some of you, well, one of you, solved math equations that have never been solved before. <laughs> you you all are already powerhouses. Some of us will become life-saving doctors, teachers, NASA scientists, lawyers, artists, or Super Bowl winning athletes like Carlos Dunlap. And Carlos, and Carlos Dunlap visiting our school should tell you something about the students that come from Fort, that you are, are all bound for greatness. And whether you're going to college, the military, the workforce, or just taking some time to figure things out, hopefully in 20 years, you'll come back and we'll block off Dorchester Road to have a parade for you too. If you show up and give everything you have, no one will question you. Be the mitochondria. Your strength and determination and Quizlet has gotten you this far and it will continue to carry you wherever you go. And finally, this really wouldn't be a graduation speech if I didn't end it with a quote. So I would like to leave you all, genuinely some of the strongest and brightest people I know, with a quote that really embodies the perseverance of our graduating class. Actor and former professional athlete, Dwayne The Rock Johnson once said, it's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hour, and take what's ours. Thank you, Fort Dorchester, and congratulations, class of 2023. Good afternoon, and welcome again to our 2023 commencement exercises for Fort Dorchester High School. It is truly an honor to be a part of this celebration, which would not be possible without the individuals sitting on this stage. I would like to recognize our district office leadership, 
Dr. Shane Robbins, Superintendent, Mr. Chad Darty, Deputy Superintendent, Dr. Kenneth Wilson, Assistant Superintendent, Mrs. Karen Radcliffe, Executive Director of Secondary Schools, Dr. Greg Harrison, Executive Director of Special Programs, Mrs. Kelly Purvis, Assistant Director of Secondary Schools, and Ms. Galia Mercer-Brown, Assistant Director of Counseling Services. I would also like to recognize our Dorchester District 2 Board of Trustees, Ms. Gail Hughes, Chairman, Ms. Kelly Bates, Mr. Justin Farnsworth, Mr. Evan Guthrie, and Dr. Ashley Wimberly. And finally, the administration of Fort Dorchester High School. I am Mr. Trip Aldrich, Principal, Mrs. Emily Castor, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Emily Duplantis, Assistant Principal, Mr. Brent Hamrick, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Tawana Jamison, Assistant Principal, Mr. Mark Meyer, Assistant Principal, Mrs. Megan Prophet, Assistant Principal, and Mr. Clint Yarborough, Assistant Principal. Distinguished guests, faculty, families, friends, and especially our Patriot graduates, thank you for being a part of our 29th Fort Dorchester High School commencement. Patriots, I could not be happier to be standing up here sharing this special day with you. Today, I brought with me this simple, single pebble. While seemingly unremarkable, it can in fact be the impetus of something of epic proportions. Ah, the ripple effect. The ripple effect refers to an idea that a single action or event can have far-reaching and cascading impacts beyond its initial occurrence. Similar to how a pebble is thrown into a pond creates ripples that expand outwards, our actions can create a chain reaction that influences others and the world around us. As graduates of Fort Dorchester High School, you join an elite group of citizens who will go on to shape our future. And you can be that pebble. You have grown through your past four years, learning and experiencing life lessons while interacting with your families, classmates, and teachers at the fort. Those of you who heeded my advice have found a connection with others who share your passions and interests. You have become involved in sports, the arts, clubs, and adventures that have shaped your thinking and made you special in your own right. You become that pebble that will spread your light throughout our society, placing an indelible imprint on our collective futures. I want you to understand that the real power of the ripple effect lies in recognizing that our choices and actions matter. Each small action we take has the potential to contribute to a larger movement or impact someone's lives in ways we may not even realize. By consciously choosing to act in positive ways, we can contribute to a more compassionate and harmonious world. The ripple effect reminds us too that even seemingly small actions can make a difference. A kind word, a helping hand, or an act of empathy can brighten someone's day and inspire them to do the same for others. By embracing this understanding and taking responsibility for the impact we have on the world, we can collectively create a positive ripple effect that spreads far and wide, creating a better world for everyone. I challenge you, patriots, to, as Amy said, be the mitochondria, or to use your power as a pebble, as the instigator of the ripple effect, to do good things and make positive change in the world. Congratulations, you make us all proud. The Patriot Award is presented to a senior who demonstrates Patriot pride. That's perseverance, respect, integrity, dependability, and excellence. All qualities these seniors possess. This year, we are excited to award two Patriots. Our first Patriot Award goes to a young lady who exemplifies what it means to be a well-rounded, world-class learner and leader. 
She has personality, poise, a commanding presence of positivity, and a determination that drives her academically and athletically. She excels on the tennis court, is musically gifted on the violin, enjoys participating with HOSA, and speaks two languages fluently while studying a third. After graduation, she plans to attend the University of Miami and pursue a degree in pre-med global health studies. This is a sample of what her teachers say about this student. She has excellent grades, is a region competitor on the tennis court, has received a bilingual certificate in English and Japanese, is focused, she has always been helpful and cheerful, and has earned several awards and accolades for her work in the orchestra. Another teacher says she is by far one of the most driven students I have ever met. She knows what she wants for her future, what she plans to accomplish, and she has taken the steps and far beyond towards working or towards that future. She has an incredible all-around level of talent, academics, arts, and athletics. She can really do it all. On top of that, she has an intrinsic motivation that pushes her to do her best, regardless of the challenge, and a compassionate heart that strives to improve her school and community. Next year, the fort will miss this young lady's compassion, drive, positive attitude, and talent. She truly is a wonderful example of Patriot pride. I am honored to present to you the 2023 Patriot Award female recipient, Mion Smith. Come forward. Our second Patriot Award goes to a young man who also reflects the Patriot pride characteristics we believe are so important. He is a strong advocate for himself and extends the utmost respect to his peers and teachers. He demonstrates integrity and always seeks to do his very best. He is a model of a true Patriot at work, on the court, at school, and in his community. After graduation, he is committed to serving in the U.S. Army. His teachers say the following about him. This student displays all of the characteristics of a true patriot. He constantly works for improvement and meets deadlines. He is respectful to his teachers and peers. He shows integrity in everything he does, whether it is at school, athletics, or working in the community. He is dependable and trustworthy to a fault. He is a very hard on himself and always strives for excellence. He will accept help, but only after he has tried to figure it out for himself. Every teacher that I have spoken to has had only positive accolades for him. He is just an amazing young man. Another teacher says, he is one of those students that every teacher desires to have in their class and in school. From his jokes that make teachers smile and brighten their day, to the effort he puts into every task assigned to him. His commitment to basketball teams as their manager is shown through the pride that he took in serving his fellow schoolmates both on and off the court. His energy brings light into every space that his feet step. He is a true patriot through and through, and we cannot wait to see him reach his full potential as he embarks on the next chapter of his life, all while exhibiting patriot pride. I am honored to present to you the 2023 Patriot Award male recipient, Tremel Davis. Well, good afternoon, class of 2023. My job here is to make my remarks short and quick, 
So nobody yawns because the goal today is for you to walk across the stage and that's what everybody's here to see. But with that said, I do have a few words I do want to share with you. As the superintendent of Dorchester School District 2, it's definitely my honor to stand before you today as we celebrate the class of 2023. This is a momentous occasion and I'm proud to be part of it. I do promise that this will be short and sweet and I'll get right to it. After all, I know you're eager to get your diplomas and move on to bigger and better things, whether that be in the military, career, or jobs. Something I think many of us didn't think was gonna happen in 2020 as our worlds were turned upside down. But to the graduates, I do wanna say congratulations. You've worked hard, you've earned this moment. You've, have, you've had to overcome challenges, face adversity, and persevere through diff difficult times. It'd be an understatement to say that your four years of high school have been anything but typical. However, you've shown resilience, determination, and commitment to excellence. It's hard to comprehend all that you've been through considering the trials of entering high school as freshmen, only to enter into one of the greatest challenges for all of us that came the spring of that very year. The pandemic drastically changed your course of your high school career. Yet here you are today, our future leaders, of our society and I have no doubt that you're gonna make a positive impact on our world. To the faculty and staff, I wanna say thank you. You've dedicated your lives to educating and inspiring the next generation. You've gone above and beyond to ensure that our students receive the best possible education. You've provided guidance, support, and demonstrated the ability to adapt and mentorship to our graduates and for that, we will continue to be thankful for your services. To the parents and families, let's just take a second, graduates, congratulate your parents and your families because they're one of the biggest reasons you're here today. They've provided you with guidance and support and played a vital role in your success. You should all be proud of all they've accomplished and we're grateful for their unwavering support. As we celebrate this moment, I want to remind our graduates this is just the beginning. You're embarking on a new journey and the road ahead will not always be easy. You'll face challenges, setbacks, and failures, but you must remember that these are just temporary obstacles that you must overcome. It does not mean that you're not good enough or you're not meant for which you desire. In the words of Denzel Washington, when you fail, fail forward. Every failed experiment is just one step closer to success. You've got to take risks. Simply put, it means for you to succeed at the highest level, you have and must continue to refine and improve your skills, knowledge, and, de and determination to achieve your dreams. If you do this, I have no doubt you'll be successful. As you move forward, I encourage you to stay true to yourselves, find and follow your passion, and have the courage of conviction to never give up. You have the power to make a difference in this world and it all starts with the choices that you make today. Be kind, compassionate, and empathetic towards others and always stand up for what is right. If you do those things, I'm definitely certain you will find success. So in closing, once again, congratulations class of 2023. You've accomplished so much and you have so much to be proud of. You may be the 29th graduating class of Fort Dorchester High School, but you're my first graduating class of Dorchester High School. And because of that, you'll always have a special place in my heart. I wish you all the best as you embark on your new journey. And we look forward to seeing all that you achieve in the years to come. Congratulations. Good afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me. Good afternoon, my name is William Dowd and I've been a teacher here at Fort Dorchester for the past 30 years. I can't count how many students I've taught over the past few years and I've taught a few valedictorians as well. Uh, we all know why a student becomes a valedictorian. They generally take the most challenging classes and get the highest grades. But there's more to it than that. The most successful valedictorians aren't just great students, 
They're tremendous young people. I'd like to take a few minutes this afternoon to talk about your valedictorian. He's a young man of diverse and varied talents. He's an AP capstone candidate as well as an AP scholar with distinction. To put that in perspective, fewer than 10% of high school seniors nationwide earn that distinction. He's a scholar, just as comfortable discussing the complexities of physics and calculus as he is interpreting the nuances of a classic novel or analyzing the catalyst of a historic event. As a student, he always pushes himself. He wants to know more. He wants to improve himself. He wants to challenge his beliefs and the beliefs of those around him. He asks questions, lots of questions. No, really, a lot of questions. So much so that at times, he annoys his classmates and sometimes even his teachers. He doesn't just want to know what the right answer is. He wants to know why it's the right answer. He's maintained a balance between the science and the technology that fascinates him and the arts that he loves. He's wondered at the complexities of computers and technology, going so far as to build his own computer and conducting a year-long research project on artificial intelligence just for fun. At the same time, he sees the world through the eyes of an artist, noticing light and shadow, color and composition. He's a freelance photographer and videographer, producing short films on various subjects across the country. These interests in the visual arts and fascination with technology have fueled his desire to pursue a degree in filmmaking at NYU this fall. He always tries to help others, whether they're his classmates or those less fortunate in the community. He has a unique sense of humor, always ready with a joke, even in the midst of the most serious conversation. He is, for the most part, a humble student. He's a scholar, a creative visual artist, a quiet leader, and a friend to most of the people he meets. It was a privilege to play a small role in his education, and it is my honor to introduce to you the Fort Dorchester High School valedictorian of the class of 2023, Dylan Rowe. My heart is pounding right now, oh my god. <laughs> Guys, we made it. 13 years, let's think about that for a second. 13 years of different subjects, 13 years of different teachers, 13 years of different classmates, and 13 years of different selves. And now we're all met with a lot of change happening all at once. That simple, clear path we enjoyed has started growing more complex. Everything is forking into millions of different options, and what if you pick wrong? It seems like nothing is familiar and chaos is in control. And wouldn't it be easier if it all stayed the same? Indeed, standing still is the easy way out, but we're all destined to go places. So take a walk of faith and pick a path. Embrace the change because it keeps you moving onward. And sure, you could choose wrong. The path you take may lead you down twisted roads. Your legs will fail and your wallet will go broke. You'll feel like all you worked for was a total joke. But you've been on this path for 13 years already, and you survived a million subjects, and you definitely didn't like all of them. You survived a million teachers, and some might not have been the right fit for you. You survived a million classmates, and not all of them were your friends. You survived a million selves, and not all of them were your best. Sure, the simple path has become a labyrinth now, but you survived it then and you will now. Because for all those millions of experiences, a few of them stuck out. One subject helped you find a passion. One teacher just got you and helped you grow. 
One classmate had your back all along, and one self learned from the others to be your best one yet. My advice to all of us, including myself, is when life gets hard and it seems easiest just to let go, fight. Fight to keep that passion in your life somewhere, in work, in love, or in just a little hobby. Fight to keep the mentors in your life, the ones that will help you grow and learn from yourself. Fight to keep those friends in your life, the ones that you can always laugh and cry with. And fight to remember yourself. Don't let that get swept up in the changes. Fight for those things in life and they will fight for you. And you won't just survive the next 13 years, you'll conquer them. So 2023, let's do just that. Let's conquer the world. Yay. Parents, relatives, and friends of the class of 2023, we are now at the highlight of graduation, the awarding of the diplomas. We will award the diplomas to the 2023 graduating class of Fort Dorchester High School. This afternoon, you may notice a variety of colorful cords adorning the graduation regalia of some of our graduates. These cords are representative of the new South Carolina Diploma Pathways. You can learn more about these academic specializations on the back of your graduation programs. Each one of these graduates has worked extremely hard to make it to this ceremony. On behalf of the class of 2023, I am asking that you allow for each graduate's name to be heard by their parents, relatives, and friends by holding your applause. At the end of the ceremony, there will be plenty of opportunity for you to cheer for all of our graduates. Thank you in advance for your cooperation in making this special occasion for every graduate. Dylan Thomas Rowe. Kaylani Ariana Janae Williams. Gabrielle Marie Christensen. Isabella Alejandra Davis. Rachel Lynn. Ayana Navaya Allen. Robert Cordell Alston Jr. Kaylin Cayenne Angel Anderson. Paula Denae Ariano, Hannah Rose Barker, Nicholas Eugene Basiglia, Savannah Lynn Bordine, Haley Aolani Cachola, Alexia Joan Cantero Martinez, Bryce Wilson Carpenter, Christian Alexander Cheatham. Shelby Grace Clinton. Brandon Charles Confer. Bryce Bauer Confer. Jacqueline Nicole Cortez. Mayani Amina Nicole Cowling. Jordan Nicole Crimmins. Zachary Charles Davidson. Gabrielle Angelique Davis. Bumi Natesh Desai. Kasaya Nalasia Katoria Dunham. Reagan Leslie Eichelberg. Prince Ruben Odomegu Ellenwo. Peyton Emmeline Evans. Colin Andrew Floyd. Melanie Jahira Franco Davila. Ethan Theodore Gilgrist. Lorenzo Ryan Godinez. Amory Iris Gonzalez. Gabriel Viera de Guzmao. Isabella Fernandez Guzmao. 
Jackson Reese Harville. Kendra Thao Ho. Hawk A. Jahan. Elizabeth Michaela Johnson. Kyrie Jade Johnson. Jada Nicole Just. Jakaira Casey Lorraine Kinley. Trinity Sage Kennedy. Caroline Paige Kruger. Tyler John Lidster. Anderson Eliseo Lopez Agustin. Adriana Sine Mackey. Jordan Isaiah McGee. Jasmine Amani Mills. Veda Mokapati. Braden James Moody. Audrey Elizabeth Moore. Brandon Scott Moore. Connor Aaron Morgan. Grace Ann Mowry. Anak Nguyen. Mason Shin Odom. Daniel Osorio Lopez. Elijah Jaden Owens. Erbian Gio Paclar Patana. Rodney Eugene Hayden II. Anthony Sampson Pereza. Harrison Allen Perry. Anthony Michael Patron. Jenna Jade Pilkington. Madison Savannah Polk. Kristen Iris Pedwichko. James Dalton Purdy. Isabella Grace Rhine. Dimitri Damian Robinson. John Michael Rose. Trey Daniel Ryan. Wendy Michelle Sanchez. Riley Thomas Sapienza. Brianna Janae Seabrook. Isla Christine Seaman. Jamalia Kiara Singleton. Aaliyah Elizabeth Smith. Mion Jennifer Smith. Megan Alexis Stanley. Andrew David Stratton. Megan Jenna Studley. John Dean Schwartzwelter. Amelia Rose Swinehart. Connell Ryan Torek. Journey Nicole Townsend. Kevin Ronan Tracy. Garrett Reed Trainum. Isabella Grace Trunco. Truk Tu Trung. Trinity Simone Vincent. Harleen Verk. Miriam Rachel Waddell. Danielle Elizabeth West. Garrett Frank Wigman. Kelson Elise Wilson. Olivia Michelle Wolf. Lethal Kathleen Wright. Robert Christopher Rohe Yap. Jordan Jordanov Zladev. Emily Renee Adams. Peyton 
Anthony Adams. Anthony Artez Adkins II. Nahid Amar Ahmed. Geraldine Bermudez Bedoya. Jacob David Blayton. Nicholas Tyler Brescia. Malik Remo Brown. Luisa Mariana Berutica Cardona. Addison Leanne Chavis. Piper Ariana Klassen. Eileen Patricia Cole. Tremel Alex Davis. Anna Luisa De Souza. Lanaya Michelle Dingle. Gabrielle Sierra Domingo. Chelsea Dos Santos Sanchez. Simone Alexis Edmond. Ethan Parker Edwards. Lanaya Charday Farmer. Kira Patricia Gaffney. Shalonda Nicole Geddes. Elena Noel Gibbons. Doc Xavier Green. Jayla Tanay Harris. James Lee Hashley. JL Shalom Haynes. LaKayla Sherelle Henryhand. Kevin Hine. Maya Lynn Holsoppel. Corey Lawrence James Jr. Malachi Terry Jamison. Gabrielle Genevieve Kashuva. Jonathan Gabriel Kirchner. Andrew Francis Lawton. Janae Ariana Lyons. Ryan Andrew Malcolm. Bryce Thomas Matthews. Denver Charnay Mathis. Zachary Franklin McGrew. Peyton Scott McMichael. Dorian Elijah Kyrie Mitchell. Ni Huang Win Ho. Zoltan Bryce Osborne. Anthony Giovanni Pauletta. Lauren Marie Pascal. Madison Susan Pascal. Alexandria Laura Picciano. Amberly Kate Plachinski. Rudro Kumar Potter. Coriana Imani Porter. Jada Tashe Rogers. Serenity Sedarius Royal. Braden Scott Schwade. Kaven Levon Sims II. Teresa Monica Studley. Gabriel Sincere Summers. Omarion Edward Watts. Quayasia Kajara Unique White. Caleb Angeles Whitmore. Joshua Christian Wilson. Kyra Alyssa Wood. Rayshawn Michael Wright. 
Ethan Daniel Izagari, Shamari Najay Abdur Rahim, Alyssa Danae Adams, Benjamin Roger Adams, Miley Deli Aguirre, Mohammed Ramsey Ahmed, Zion Som Katu Edu McFadden, Preston Scott Alford, Alexander Alvarez Labra, John Paul Bar Amparo, Iftikar Quasi An Nafi, Carly Ann Andrews. Misha Ray Aranda, Blake Edward Asbel, Wesley Staver Barche, Bryson O'Brien O'Neill Bates, Ann Beer, Tavon Ahmad Beaton, Natalie Sky Barons, Mason Luke Blackwell. Sandra Noemi Blanco, Jordan Lawrence Bland, Tiana Lanice Blygen, Hannah Jean Bly Hannah Jean Botello, Christopher Devon Brabham, Myra Louise Becca Branham, Zoe Kale Bresch. Jackson Martin Brown, Jamon Kayan Brown, Zakaya Edward Brown, Anton Latonio Bryan, Antonio Latron Bryan, Niara Shavella Bryan, Gabriel Dante Cabrera. Kareem Javier Calle, Dylan Michael Cameron, Jeremiah Cedric Capers, Aiden James Capobianco, Leilajane Naima Mawana Gary Brazley Carmichael, Nina Angelica Caro, Bryson Howard Cassidy, Sherrod Khalil Chandler, Catherine Carmelita Alexandria Sherry, Celine Florence Abigail Sherry, Leslie Natalie Cisneros Ortega, Brianna Inez Clark, Karma Antasia Clark, Jared Lewis Collins II, Brandon Daniel Conks, Kayla Alexandra Conyers, Olin D Dane Cooley, Darius Theron Cooper, Mandy Marie Cooper, Jalen Albion. Covington, Braden Scott Crerar, Twanasia Samara Cromwell, Camden Michael Anthony Crummy, Roger Cruvenel Silva, Zykerian Marquise Purnell, Elena Hope Davis. Michaela Savoy Davis, Maya Marie Davis, William Earl Dean, Daryl Andre DePass, Janae Elise Deweese, Ashley Diaz, Tatiana Nakia Dickerson. Madeline Yesenia Donis Torres, 
David Antoine Dotch. Louis Edward Early. Giancarlo Echavaria Flores. Wesley Allen Eichelberg. Zachary Reyes Escobar. Elian Raymond Espinosa. Tiora Jermicia Evans. Ty Bodie Filia. Odalis Flores Gomez. Destiny Lynn Flowers. Shalar. Jamel Fordham. Michaela Yvette Franklin. Sila Tanae Frazier. Darius Devon Frazier. Ciara Elise Freeman. Michelle Hassan Frost, Daniel Yahir Fuentes Murillo, Jacob Michael Fugate, Abigail Teresa Fuller, Marquise Samuel Gadson, Sarah Caitlin Galvin, Isaac William Garman. Jaden Jerome Gethers. Michael Jermaine Gibbs II. Peyton Morgan Gibbs. Madeline Grace Gilliam. Malia Amari Verne Gilliard. Jordan Lee Glessner Ventura. Marshall Adams Godwin. Raimundo Samuel Gomez Murguia. Brian Gonzalez. Montrell Isaiah Goodwin. Dennis Uridio Gramajo Perez. Shakela Unique Green. Alicia Renee Green. Landry Bell Griffith. Grecia Alejandra Guerrero Virgen. Santana Maria Guthrie. Asia Deborah Gwynn. Jonah Francis Scott Hale Weiss. Agatha Nicole Hamby. Dakota Brooke Hansen. Kaylin Sue Hansen. Aaron Michael Harris. Troy Devante Harrison. Taylor Ann Hahn. Carson Thomas Howshield. D'Angelo Trayvon Xavier Haynes. Nasani Rihanna Hemingway. Owen Andrew Herman. Maria Gabriela Hernandez. Mauricio Hernandez Jr. Anjali Janae Mitchell Hills. Kiara Unique Holt. Kamari Michelle Holt. Alvin Hong. Isaiah Vincent Hooten. Aria Simone Howard. Candice Janae Huggins. Mackenzie Elizabeth Husky. Sequoia Amir Jackson. 
Zaniah Malaysia Jefferson. Enija Jameer Jenkins. Jalen Joseph Jenkins. Jose Alejandro Jimenez Jr. Adrian Kamora Caprice Johnson. Shakira My Love Johnson. Tyree Malik Johnson. Maritza John Mendoza. DeAndre Antonio Jones. Maricela Juan Miguel. Ariana Taisha Kiner. Jaden Lachey King. Matthew Frederick Nob. Kamora Danae Ladson. Takara Janae Ladson. Sadira Karima Lambert. Leadra Quinice Langston. Amaya Danae Larkins. Aaron Christopher Lawrence. Taylor Sage LeClaire. Jasmine Alicia Lemon. Pierce Lovell Leverett. Mia Kailani Lissamore. Suray Kane Livingston. Karis Juliet Lott. Decada Lanise Mack. Shaylin Alexis Mack. Adela Michelle Maldonado Herrera. Reese Joanne Mansell. Christian Mandarin. Hope LaShawn Manderville. Marcus Antonio Marston II. Ariana Lachey Martin. Clever Martinez. Kindy Martinez Casco. William Ray Mathenia III. Deontre Trayvon Reynard Matthews. Ayana Sharice Mays. Jeremy Lane Maynard. Devin Elijah McCray II. Nicholas Andrew McGill. Cherish Unique McKelvey. Nisa Angelique McPherson. Charles Richardson Mead. Josue Marlon Mendez. Ainoa Nayeska Mesa Diaz. Alexis Ann Michael. Stephen Maurice Michael Jr. Deasia D'Angela Middleton. Kaylin Zola Milford Jr. Hunter Isaiah Miller. Nadia Simone Miller. Cheney Ann Milner. Nigel Guevara Miranda. Kiara Ivory Montgomery White. Natalia Jayla Montgomery. Amaria Deshana Moore. Kalia Marie Moore. Jaden Michael Moore. Porter Jackson Moore. 
Yeslurian Shanid Morales. Emily Alexis Moorfield. Jalen Aaron Morris. Maria Alejandra Munoz Sepulveda. Michael Alexandra Monton. Colin James Mutter. Malia Ariana Neely. Khalil Terrell Nelson. Alex Jason Lee Nasiba. Senna Han Nguyen. Caroline Ryan O'Neill. Deron Anthony Odom. Jimena Alejandra Oseguera Velasquez. Haley Lynn Owens, Nicolette Pardo, Asia Amani Parker, Kendall Allen Parrott, Jaquim Najay Paisley, Jemaya. Diamond Jemiah Dijanay Mariah Paul. Dominique Umberto Pele. Jacqueline Peña Segundo. Elvis Perez Avila. Jocelyn Nicole Perez Disqua. Deanna Gloria Perez Lopez. Matthew Alexander Perez. Omarion Maurice Perry. Jillian Monica Foffenbickler. Nicholas Virgil Pickering. Brianna Emily Pinckney. Dewan Varel Pinckney Jr. Desiree Simone Pinckney. Malachi Ahmad Pinckney. Diane Sophia Pineda Perla. Tyler Jacob Pinkard. Brianna Maxine Prash. Amarian Rashad Prelu. Rodney Zane Prelu. Kyla Antoinette Pruitt Moore. Nicholas Michael Putsu. Julian Jason Rambaransing. Janie Itzel Ramirez. Gutierrez, Emily Danae Ramirez Sanchez, D'Angelo Orlando Ravenel Jr., Jada Ciara Janice Ravenel, Braylon Damian Ladon Rawls, Brianna Taylor Rawls, Connor Aiden Reed, Emma Ray Rymish, Alejandro Santiago Reyes Avila, Sarai Reyes Herrera, Zion Jalal Reynolds, Dion Cortez Richardson Jr., Abigail Rose Riddle. Damian Curtis Rivers. Treshawn Jaimeek Rivers. Zamaria Alea Robinson Nelson. Julio Alberto Roberto Bravo. Tatianalise Marie. 
Rodriguez. Isabella Sofia Rodriguez Reed. Desmond John Romero. Jocelyn Ann Rossington. David Rashad Russell. Sana Sierra Russell. Kirsten Wudriana Alicia Rhines. Jordan Adriana Latrice Sab. Bryce Lane Sagline. Tracy Ellen Salas Velasquez. Eve Marie Sandusky. Samuel Tyler Sainer. Leon Angelo Santa Cruz. Michael Nathaniel Saunders. Robert Samuel Scott. Adama Amarede Adede Scott Green. Michael Leroy Sell II. Parker Anthony Selner. Saida Shifa Shazid. Jaden Michael Shaw. Jameson Francisco Shell. Colin James Shepherd. Kiara Maricelo Siancas Alama. Janae Anadika L. Simmons. Jayshawn Carnell Simmons. Joshua LeBron Stefan Simmons. Leilani Monet Simmons. Josiah Christian Sims. Latrell Carson Singletary. Emmanuel Jermaine Singleton Jr. Chase Peyton Sinswat. Mark Campbell Sloan Jr. China Nicole LaShawn Smalls. Michael LaJav Smalls. Amari Shanae Leticia Smith. Dakia K. Chanel Smith. Gabrielle Lauren Grace Smith. Nicholas Gregory Smith. Ronald Robert Smith Jr. Travis Lamont Smith. Zania Lachey Kamei Smith. Isabella Angelina Snedeker. Katherine Ann Summers. Amaya Kailani Soul. Caleb Joe Stevens. Alex King Revis. Almari Asa Sweet. Sakim Amari Taylor. Adamari Torres Perez. Shaylin Stephanie Villadares. Brian King Vandross. Isabel Yesenia Vanoy. Tiana Vashti and Vassal. Alan Samuel Viatoro Castro. Nicholas Mackay Ward. 
Danico Nashan Washington. David Jeremiah Washington. Rashid Ahmed Washington, Jr. Sana Shania Noel Washington. Trenton Rashad Washington. Amarian Rashad Waters. Christopher Akay Waters. London Isaiah Waymer. Tatiana Neshe Webb. Tabitha Selena Wells. Madison Deanne Wentworth. Sanaya Janae Wheeler. Ajanae Ajanae Jemiah White. Ranasia Manaya Wiggins. Tyree Antonio Sherrod Wiggins. Andrew Nathaniel Wigley. Macy Elaine Wilkinson. Antonio Devon Williams. Ariel J. Shakane Williams. Rachel Alea Williams. Trinity Sapphire Ophelia Williams. Zaria Marie Williams. Caleb Samuel Wilson. Kai Harvest Nicole Wilson. Abigail Lynn Wood. Jacob James Workman. Destiny Kristen Wilder. Tasneem Fatima Zapata. Noah John Zapkowski. Jose Fernando Zaro. Graduates, please stand. It is now my duty as principal of Fort Dorchester High School and on behalf of the faculty and staff to certify to Dr. Robbins, Superintendent of Schools and the Board of Trustees that these seniors have fulfilled all state and local requirements to earn the high school diploma. Dr. Robbins, it is my recommendation that all members of the class of 2023 be accepted as duly qualified. As your superintendent and on behalf of the Dorchester School District 2 Board of Trustees and the state of South Carolina, I certify that all the candidates for South Carolina's high school diploma have met all graduation requirements. I proudly accept the Fort Dorchester High School class of 2023 as graduates. Graduating class of 2023, at this time, please turn your tassel I am honored to introduce to you the graduating class of 2023. At this time, please join me in singing the alma mater, which is printed on the front of your program.
-hmm. Graduates, we will begin our recession momentarily. As our band begins to play, please remain in your rows as your row leader distributes your graduation folder. We also have a final gift for you as you exit distributed by our junior marshals. Please wait for your row leaders to lead you out of the Coliseum so you can celebrate with your friends and family. Congratulations, Patriots. Some more music. 